Hi there, Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading. It's going to be a next 48 hour reading. I'm going to pull for you the same from the same decks that I pulled for everybody else. This is Wisdom of the Oracle. And as always, I open up for your spirit team, my spirit team, goddesses, um, higher power, ancestors. I'm trying to get messages for your highest good, so I'm pretty open. And if you have an open mind, then maybe you'll find some messages in here too for you, Capricorn. Wisdom of the Oracle, what do we got? And that's Cherubim. Okay, Mending. 52. Mm, yin. There's something about you being open to receive so that you can receive because the yin is, yeah, it's like that bowl. It's like, hello, you know, your hands are out, like saying, okay, come to me, divine feminine energy. Receive. That's what that's about, too. Oh my gosh, you got yang. Seriously? You got yin and yang? That's so crazy. Truth be told. So one is the divine masculine and one is divine feminine. Whew. This could be about mending these energies within yourself. <clears throat> Clean it up. Clean it up. Some of you are going to meet your other divine counterpart, like for real, with, with this coming out like that. A divine counterpart. Yin and yang. You are the yin to my yang. Okay. <laughs> and it is somewhat of a never-ending story. <laughs> this little fairy's like, goodness. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is not for you. I'm not sure what that's talking about, uh, but we're going to pull some more cards so we'll get more clarification. This is the Uncommon Tarot, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. The Never Ending Story, I love that card. It just kind of reminds us that we have some time, but there's only so much time that we have to mend something with somebody's avatar here um, on Earth right maybe that's saying about the time that we have to mend something and clean it up clean it up leo got that too and he and aries i think it's leo and aries got it all right messages for capricorn Tell me about this. Tell me about this um, yin and yang. I love this energy. Well, okay. It's, so this might be about um, the love that you give yourself. We have the Ace of Cups. It's in the reverse. The Seven of Cups in the reverse. Seeing something clearly. Not disillusion. And it's it's you. you're being very open to receiving love when you get the Ace of Cups in the reverse because it's a soul focus here on keeping your mind clear, your emotions clear, but also um, receiving, you know, showing your body that you, that you love it and, and giving it love and things like that. The Knight of Wands is my card for uh, a divine counterpart. Mm -hmm. When you mend the love within yourself, <clears throat> when there's just the right enough gentle with the the right amount of push you know what i mean so like it's a push pull type thing and it's it's like how you know force versus um gentleness i don't know it's a, it's a delicate balance but when you're seeing things clearly being careful about um how we process our emotions and also the choices that we choose um especially when it's to show up to ourselves there's something here about keeping yourself really nice and clear, your mind nice and clear, and um, opening up to receiving more love from yourself so that you can receive more love from 
it, re it reflecting you, reflecting you. Eight of Wands in the reverse. Mm, let me get another card first. I need something that expands on that. Something you're not expecting. Haven't gotten a. Uh, could be waiting on news you could be waiting on some kind of a apology or something like that that you maybe haven't heard yet or you're you're waiting for some kind of communication waiting for some kind of communication this is something that you don't see coming what is it the capricorn doesn't see coming What is it that's coming towards Capricorn that they don't see coming? The Seven of Wands in the reverse. Didn't expect an energy to come forward. Asserting oneself. Moving forward, defending oneself. But that that is what happens. What else? So it didn't see... Um, Somewhat in denial with the sun in reverse that there has been some kind of tower moment. Um, it feels like it's part of this. I wish this was part of the never the ending story, right? <laughs> I wish we didn't, you know, didn't have to go through all of this. It seems like kind of unexpected. It's hmm. and when the sun's in reverse, it's like something's in denial. It feels like the energy of just not wanting to do anything, not wanting to go forward with something or for someone. Maybe there's something that is not your mess to clean up. <laughs> okay, I've got um, the Tarot of Oppositions. Tell me more about um, this tower. Tell me more about the tower. Page of Pentacle. It's going to be something new to plant. <laughs> There's going to be a seed to plant. There's going to be um, advice or something that appears where you have the ability to invest in something that's really going to pay off. It does end up like something ends up getting shook up first. Whoa. Another tower. Seriously. This tower has already happened. I think that's why they, this one came out too. Wow, you have two towers. Wow. Time to do something new um, when it comes to how we invest, how we invest in the family too. The Page of Pentacles. It's like a message that something is gonna be really good if it gets planted. Do you want to plant it? This feels like it'd be sowing the seeds of something, some kind of mending also in the same time, at the same time. What's the Seven of Cups doing in the reverse? The sun in reverse. So this sun is is in the reverse too. So they're both, um, it's depleted. Okay, so, so what we can see clearly now is what we just absolutely do not have energy or tolerance for anymore. Um, the, the sun is in this energy that it's, it's draining. Like there's, there's a need for more energy in a situation. So much energy is being looked at to these two towers. And then two suns in reverse, two towers in reverse. What the crap guys? What is the eight of wands about? Tell me about the eight of wands. It's about something that's to be revealed with the moon in reverse. It's uh, the lifting of a veil, the lifting of, an, of what was an illusion, the lifting of that, making something seen, 
somebody's poor decision, somebody's bad decision, or like looking at somebody's judgment call and what's being shown is is that this person made a, a poor, what you could say, a poor judgment call. It might have been what the cause was of all of this this towers it's like the moment we see clearly it's like is there any energy left for for this oh okay all right what so what are we maybe in denial about page of swords could be a child libra gemini or aquarius um could be in, in some kind of denial regarding communication or why or how communication is done or not done, miscommunicated or communicated, holding back, it feels like holding back information, holding back information, why am I getting that, holding back information. What kind of information? Knight of Cups. Somebody's um, apology or somebody's sincere like offer to offer something, to come towards you, to give something to you, to give a gift, something like that. And then we have the devil in the reverse. So it's like um, in this deck, it's almost like saying it's okay to have these good, these things of being infatuated with... Um, or health or something like that you know some some kind of good infatuation somebody might be infatuated with you they so it might be that there was this offer so you're holding back some information of somebody that offered basically their cup of love to you so the cups ace of cups in the reverse Seven of Wands in the reverse. Another Seven of Wands in the reverse. Look. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Oh, this has gone on for a very long time. It's hard, it's hard to give yourself self-love when it feels like you're doing everything. And it just really... that That is what would be keeping you from wanting to really move forward as much would be that you're tired. And I don't always get that, but I do from from this card. Oh, wow. King of Cups. Somebody is definitely trying to petition, give you some kind of unexpected divine counterpart energy care. <laughs> wow. Twin towers. Like, two towers. I didn't mean twin tower. But you know what I'm saying? Like, um, divine counterpart. The King of Cups is coming in as somebody whose heart resonates with yours. Is this something that you just don't see? something we haven't told somebody because there's some kind of commitment that you want to break out of or a contract that you would like to say no null and void on that because there's this I don't know we're gonna get um, some more cards though I'm gonna use the Kipper deck and let's see let's see what we get it's an interesting reading and because there's twos, so many twos, and like for a lot of you all, this is divine counterpart just now showing up. Tell me about moving past this lover's energy since it's in the reverse. Not making the same decision twice. Okay. Laying something to rest. This is going to be um, a relationship that gets laid to rest or... A person or situation that's going out of your life. That's what the coffin. Jeez. Okay. Addition to family. Or something that has to do with a new investment for the family. That the family doesn't know about yet. Something that everyone can invest in. Who's the king of cups? Who's this king of cups that we have? King of Cups, Knight of Cups, Privileged Lady, and Concern. It's almost like the Empress energy and Concern. 12 and 33. 
for, so somebody wants to really spoil you, somebody who's a little bit older, wiser, or has just more knowledge on things, they have more information in general, This they're part of this journey for you. They're part of the journey. Child in reverse. Something that gets addressed regarding a child. And then I've got extra unexpected income, 27, gift, 17. <clears throat> That's what I've got for you guys. Let's do some tea leaves and see if, what else wants to come out for these. I am um, psychic ability, trust your intuition, lightning, control your anger or you'll be sorry, flute, disappointment in a friend or lover, desk, pay attention to your work, dog, protection from a powerful friend, bull, do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude, maybe a uh, Aries or a Taurus, maybe. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Hand in need of help or assistance and guidance. Quill, get back to the basics. Weeping willow, family sorrow, and dogs. Dogs getting together with friends. And then there's that dog card, a powerful friend. So that's what I've got from that. And then we're going to pull from this Oracle of Genetic Gifts, too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces showing up really strong as a person coming into your life or something like that. A gift of some sort. Demonologist, X entity vanishing or removal. Pendulum reader, scrying, room casting, dowsing. Seven, ascension number seven, astral plane. Um, the canal gland is open, is fully open. And indigo child, gamma generation, born between 1978 and 1988. Star attunements for high spiritual healing, activation, ascension, and life missions. And then we'll close out with the angel number messages. Wow. <laughs> five, 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 and four, four. Woo. Your angels are encouraging you, 44, to continue with your present life path with diligence and determination, and even greater success will come in the future. I am supported. Then I have 555. I am optimistic. A major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your path's direction. Be open and stay positive. That's what I've got for you, Capricorn. Sending you love and light. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.